a warm welcome to Steve Ebert. Let's do it. Thank you. That was, a, that was a nice warm round of applause from a group of people who don't seem like they're cold. I'm chilly. <laughs> I live in Nashville. I've only ever lived in the Southeast and uh, I'm, I'm ashamed to say that I'm kind of cold right now, but I'm gonna start moving around, don't worry. I'll be sweaty in no time. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Everett and I love Lake Orion. I uh, have called it many things, uh, but now I'm familiar with the correct way to say it. And uh, I've been coming up to play 20 Front Street for, uh, I guess, since the first year that it was open. I love this, this whole team, and uh, I fall in love with your town. But don't worry. I'll leave tomorrow, so you're in no danger um, at the buffets. Uh, yeah, I live in Nashville. I've been there about 10 years, and uh, I write songs half the month with other, with other songwriters, and we pitch them to artists in Nashville. And then uh, the other half of the month, I'm on the road playing, playing shows like this. So thanks so much for being here and for taking a chance on a ginger under a gazebo. That's it for me. Thank you, guys. Uh, this is a song I wrote about a girl named Catherine Hawthorne Sutton. That's her full legal real name. She uh, moved to my school in the fourth grade. And uh, the first day, I was like, this girl is so cute. I'm going to ask her to jump on my 14-foot trampoline after school, which is like fishing with dynamite, honestly, at that age. So I was like, Catherine, do you want to come over and jump on the 14-foot trampoline? And she was like, duh. So she came over and made her laugh a couple times. And I was like, what's your ring size? Because this is happening one day. And then uh, the next day at lunch, she lived in North Carolina for like 29 hours. And she was like, why didn't you tell me you weren't one of the cool kids? And I was like, that's how long you have to live in North Carolina to figure out that I'm not one of the cool kids, it's 29 hours. <laughs> and a lot of people go their whole life without getting information like that, but I've got it. It's the kind of data I've collected. Uh, so I, you know, I, I was thinking about that one day and I realized that I'm a songwriter, I get to right the wrongs of the universe. And so I wrote this song about her, it's called LMNOP. I hope you like it. I wrote this with my friend Adam Doliak. Slap bracelets and LL Bean Couple skate at the roller rink From Fall House to Dawson's Creek It's been me and you since 93 Failing math but passing notes Checking boxes, yes or no From Jam Sport to Jinko Jeans You were puka shells and Abercrombie hey, I can give you what you want Know exactly what you need Girl, I've known you since Miss Davidson taught us how to read. Used to chase you on the playground, patches on my knees. Oh, I've been loving you since Elemen OP. La da 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 Eighth grade when Brian C. Stole you right away from me. I tried my best to leave you be till he broke your heart and you called me. High school came and high school went. Left for college, still just friends. Freshman year with you again. A fresh start with the same old end. Hey, I can give you what you want. Know exactly what you need. Girl, I've known you since Miss Davidson taught us how to read. Used to chase you on the playground, patches on my knees. Oh, I've been loving you since Elemen OP. La da 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 It's been a couple years or three. Now it's starting to think that you forgot about me. But then the phone rings. I can give you what you want, know exactly what you need. Girl, I've known you since Miss Davidson taught us how to read. Used to chase you on the playground, patches on my knees. Oh, I've been loving you since Elemen OP. La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Elemen OP. That 
Thanks a lot. A song called L M N O P. Thank you. You love letters. <laughs> Is anybody from the U P that's here tonight? Got any U Pers? U Pers? Okay, back there. I uh, I've been fighting this battle since I started coming up to Michigan and playing like in 2011 or 12. But people do, you guys get a little casual with the one-handed Michigan thing, you know? You're like, oh, what part of Michigan are you from? And you're like, excuse me? Do you mean what part of Michigan am I from? Because there's a whole other region filled with many splendors <laughs> and some of the most friendly people on the planet Earth and the toughest people who know how to do everything. I feel like everybody I meet from the UP is like, I tan my own leather and I can bench press 300 pounds. What's up? Also, do you need your shoe resold? We have to do everything once the roads close. <laughs> we do have snowmobiles, though. When I was a kid growing up in the southeast, you know, we had like the ATV situation because everybody went mudding is what we called it. But really, it was just ruin everything that you own clothing wise in one afternoon. Uh, but yeah, I love I love the uh, the wintertime Michigan version of that where you're like, well, the north part of the state, we just close it down and it's only for snowmobiles and hunting. I feel right at home in Michigan. Anyway, I will play some more songs. I'm, this is just fun. Thanks so much. I, I know this is the, the grand finale of the, uh, the, uh, the outdoor concert series in, in this particular park this season, but trust me, there will be nothing grand about it, but it will be final. This is a song I wrote called uh, Amy. Uh, for my last record, and uh, it's about a girl named Amy. Isn't that crazy? I wrote this with a friend of mine named Charlie Berry, and uh, he came over one day, and we're writing this love song, and halfway through, I kind of like realized I don't know much about Charlie, and I asked him some questions, and uh, those answers took me in a, lar a different path than I thought we were going to go on, but it turned out that Charlie played four years of D1 college football. <laughs> And then here he was writing love songs with me upstairs at my house in Nashville. And I was like, how did we get here? And he was like, well, I don't know, but do you want to watch a video of me squatting 1,200 pounds? And I was like, yep. And we did, and it was incredible. And Limp Biscuit was playing in the background. And then we wrote this song. Doing some jean jacket, let's call trying, yeah. Smoking my last cigarette And I'd take another beer if you're buying Cause I'm not ready to go home yet, no Well I've been aiming at Amy since Lisa Saving up all that minimum wage I've got four good times, three days of vacation And I'm too buzzed to wander this way, yeah. What do you say you saved me? Yeah. A dance a kiss, drag a simple place in your heart, maybe. Why don't you save me? What do you say you saved me? Yeah. Well, those lights will come on any minute. What's up, guys? And they'll be putting that old jukebox to bed. And I can't spend another week not knowing what you think about these words that I haven't said. Yeah. Hey, Amy, what do you say you saved me? A dance, a kiss, a drag, a simple place in your heart, maybe. Why don't you save me? What do you say you saved me? trying to slow you down but you could do worse in this town hey Amy what do you say you saved me a dance a kiss a drag a simple place in your heart made What do you say you saved me? A dance, a kiss, a drag, a sip, 
put a place in your heart, maybe. Why don't you save me? What do you say? You save me. Why don't you save me? What do you say? You save me. Song called Amy. I wrote this song, uh, I do the first couple months of every year uh, sober, just to maybe prove to myself that I can, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I've been doing that for like the past five or so years. And my buddy got married uh, in February a couple years ago. And so I went to like one of my close friend's weddings, Stone Cold Sober, and just danced as if the night would never end. Uh, but when you're sober and you're around all your buddies that you grew up with, <laughs> you know, and they're not, it's pretty good people watching, you know, and people come up to you with like easily solvable problems that have popped up and you're like, this seems pretty easy to take care of, man. You just need to grab a sandwich should you'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, I, as soon as this wedding was over, I went home and I wrote this song. It's called Bad At It because I realized something at that wedding, you guys. It's weird to be a good dancer. It's weird. No, you're not supposed to be good at dancing. That's not like a thing that's a common thing to be good at. And when, like if, you know, like a ballerina from the ballet was next to you in a bar and was like moving all beautifully, you'd be like, what are you doing? That's awkward, you know? So like there's no cool way to dance. So just get it out of your head. Dancing is not something to be good at. Dancing is something to be done. And this is a song called Bad At It that I put out a couple summers ago because I'm bad at it. But I do it anyway, baby. Losing myself to some Whitney Houston Losing my tie cause I sweat right through it Half of my drinks on the ground from shouting A little bit louder now Give me the scoop, by you someone's plus one? Watching your moves got me feeling something Tell me the truth, are you into getting A little bit closer now Don't have moves stepping on your shoes But girl, you ain't mad at it, no Even though I'm bad at it, yeah to you trying to play it cool but girl you ain't mad at it no but even though i'm bad at it bad at it mad at it mad at it mad at it yeah i'm bad at it bad at it bad at it yeah so good it up let's get in the middle maybe i should dial it back a little watching you dance in your high heels i'm size sealed delivered yeah don't have Move stepping on your shoes, but girl, you ain't mad at it, no. Even though I'm mad at it, yeah. It's a you trying to play it cool, but girl, you ain't mad at it. Even though I'm mad at it, bad at it, I'm mad at it, mad at it, mad at it, yeah. Like a chance worth taking I don't want to say too much too soon Like I always do Cause I don't have moves stepping on your shoes But girl you ain't mad at it, no You know I'm bad at it, yeah Into you trying to play it cool But girl you ain't mad at it even though I'm bad at it, bad at it, mad at it, mad at it, mad at it, yeah. I'm bad at it, bad at it, bad at it, yeah. I'm mad at it, mad at it, mad at it, yeah. I'm bad at it, bad at it, yeah. You know I'm bad at it, yeah. All right. Anyway, it's okay to dance if you suck. <laughs> We've all seen that episode of Seinfeld, and nobody thinks any less of Elaine, so here we go. <laughs> 
So I, I was born in uh, Albany, Georgia, which is like the southwest corner of Georgia, where all the uh, pecans you've ever eaten probably came from, and uh, and also Jimmy Carter's peanut farm. But uh, yeah, so I was born there, moved away when I was like three. I was a very ambitious toddler, and luckily my parents were like down to come with me. So we moved to North Carolina, but there was this lady that watched us, my brother and I, when my parents would have like a date night. And her name is, was My Reese. And uh, she was in her 50s when she, when she watched us as kids. And she was like five foot flat. But uh, we thought she was like a giant person because she was so strict and so like intense. And then now I see pictures of her and stuff. And she's just like this tiny lady. <laughs> but uh, she would always, if we had the radio on or the TV on, she would cut it off immediately when she came over to watch us. And if we asked why, she would just always say, what's in the well comes up in the bucket. And so she was really trying to teach us this, like, long-term lesson. And that phrase, my Reese is no longer with us, but that phrase has been in my family for my entire, you know, 36 years of life. And uh, so for this new record I put out uh, April 30th, a record called Little Winds. And thank you, thank you. Does my fame preceded me? <laughs> but... Uh, this is a, the single from that new record, and it's just kind of a cool thing. I got to call my family and ask them questions about my Reese and just try to remember everything that we could all remember. And this is the song that came out, and it's called What's in the Well. Hope you like it. Well, it's 86 in Albany. Friday night about 6.15 Mom and Dad's anniversary And my Reese is at the door 55 and 5 foot nothing Sweet as pie but by both thumping Every time we were watching some She'd come and cut it off And she'd say what's in the well Comes up in the bucket You can waste time but it don't stop running Seeds and change but it won't change nothing What's in the well up in the bucket, yeah. Well, it's 96 in old NC. Friends are passing around a magazine. Stuff my dad wouldn't let me see. So I up and took off. We're at school for a couple days. Everybody asks why I ran away. I couldn't think of something cool to say, so I reached for the same old song. I said, what's in the well comes up in the bucket. You can waste time, but it don't stop running. Seeds and change, but it won't change nothing. What's in the well comes up in the bucket, yeah. We haven't talked since I was seven. But I talked about her my whole life I guess a good enough lesson keeps itself alive mm. What's in the well comes up in the bucket You can waste time but it don't stop running Season change but it won't change nothing What's in the well, yeah. What's in comes up in the bucket you can waste time but it don't stop running season change but it won't change nothing what's in the well comes up in the bucket yeah comes up in the bucket yeah thank you How about that? Uh, we want to say congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Pilgrim, who just got married in that parking lot right now. They were apparently going to use this uh, gazebo real quick, and then we're like, there's a ginger playing acoustic guitar love songs. I love that. Mr. and Mrs. Pilgrim, may your journeys be more fortunate than the actual pilgrims were. Pretty sweet. Honestly, I got enough love songs. They could have just 
stick around and do some slow dancing, you know? I'll play the deep cuts. <laughs> oh. That's so funny. I played a wedding at uh, Duke Chapel at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina one time. And there was a lady there who worked for Duke Chapel. And they have weddings there that last like 40 minutes. And you can have access to that space for exactly 40 minutes. And you have to get out of there. And they are very serious about it. And uh, I, yeah, I can't go back to Duke Chapel. Like, I, I, I guess I, I ran too, too fast and casual with the rules at Duke Chapel. And they were like, you're no longer welcome here. You, you stayed six minutes over your allotment. And I, anyway, that's a story about how I can't play any more weddings at Duke Chapel. Somewhere you'll never go. But if you can, it's amazing. <laughs> if you're allowed back. Alan, guys, give it up for Alan Getz. Sorry, I didn't know I was clapping for my own tip jar. All right, this is, uh, I'm just kind of doing some stuff. Um, I just put out my fourth full length record. So if you never heard of me, don't worry, everything's fine. You're in good hands. Uh, uh, Quasi professional at this. But uh, I'm just going to be doing stuff from all the records. And I've got some for sale over here. And I've got coffee mugs that say Steve Everett believes in me, and uh, some t shirts. Uh, with little wins designs for my new record, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna play some more stuff from the new record. This is uh, yeah, this song about believing. Uh, believing in stuff can uh, absolutely make your life, or it can break your life. And if you pick the wrong thing to believe in, it can set you back. You pick the right thing, and it can uh, propel you forward. And it's just. Uh, yeah, it seems to me life is just a series of figuring out what it is good to believe in and what it is bad to believe in. <laughs> between silence and hearing someone out between just waiting on your turn and knowing what they're talking about yeah it's conviction and it's doubt
Next time you're thinking that an argument is needed Just remember no one ever listens when they're bleeding Bleed Call believing. I saw a, uh, a Jets pizza delivery driver drive by, and I uh, I spent the first three or four years I lived in Nashville driving for Jets pizza. It's like really big in Tennessee, and I don't know why. It's just these two states. <laughs> but uh, oh my God, Jets pizza is incredible. That wasn't for your benefit. You already know that. I just was reliving my own glory days of making that ranch dressing and then people are like I'll get a salad from Jets and they're like just give me a side of ranch dressing and I'm like you have no idea what you're about to do to yourself it's like 700 calories in one side of ranch dressing from Jets I'm sorry if I just ruined your life also the Italian is it's got corn oil in it it's, it's preposterous just get the packets that's just a little inside tip if you're trying to keep it light get the salad dressing packets okay I'm serious. Don't do it. I lost ev literally everyone on that. <laughs> Everybody's like, we don't need you to tell us about Jet's Pizza. You redneck. Don't call me a redneck, guys. Honestly, that's rude. This is a song about uh, faking it till you make it. It's called Fake It. And uh, if this song makes you want to turn left for a few hundred laps, it's because it's part of the uh, video game NASCAR Heat 2. And uh, it's been one of the most fun things that's ever happened to me. I get sweet comments on the internet every day, which is not usually what the internet is for, but people just all around the world play this video game and uh, hear the song and then reach out. And it's been just, and it, I, I can't tell you how sweet it's been. <laughs> so a song called Fake It. Hope you like it. I dress like I'm famous and talk like I'm cool I'm not sure if it's more for me or for you hey, yeah. Wearing all black in the middle of June I got my jeans rolled up just to show off my boots hey. Well, I'm dressed for success I'm going for gold Well, I'd rather strike out straight pitches then have regrets when I ain't get old you can't wait to feel like someone till the world discovers you I'd rather fake it till I make it than make do yeah I'd rather fake it until I make it than just get through I'm renting a room in a house downtown yeah. Can't afford booze, but there's bars all around. I ain't got but one, but I'm not burned out. But I got a cool spot when my friends come down. Hey, well, I'm dressed for success. I'm going for gold. But I'd rather strike out on three straight pitches than have regrets when I ain't get old. You can wait to be someone till the world discovers you i'd rather fake it till i make it than make do yeah i'd rather fake it until i make it than just get through not an awful lot of change no if i have one song on the radio I'd probably pay my bills on time and use a lot more light at night and buy 
myself a new guitar or two Well, I'm dressed for success I'm going for gold Well, I'd rather strike out on three straight pitches Than have regrets when I get old You can wait to feel like someone Till the world discovers you I'd rather fake it till I make it than make do yeah, I'd rather fake it until I make it than just get through. Thanks a lot. A song called Fake It from my second record. Central Standards. It was called Central Standards, and so uh, I guess without listening to it, iTunes put it on iTunes as a jazz record because it had standards in the title, I guess. And then, then there was a moment the day it came out in 2016 where I had the number six jazz record in the world. I know. It was five different Frank Sinatra records, and then it was my non-jazz record, and then it was Nina Simone, and I was like, take that, Nina! I don't even make jazz music. I don't even have this mathematical ability to do so. Oh, look at the American Legion. My first gig was at an American Legion. Didn't go well at all. <laughs> It'd be weird if the first one did go well, you know? Set you up for failure. You gotta have something to work for. This is the best weather that's ever happened on the planet Earth. And I love it. This is what it's like year-round up here, right? I don't know why more people won't move up. This is beautiful. Are we far enough north to get the black flies in the summertime? Not quite. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really the, the worst thing about Canada. You get up there and you're like, oh, this is so nice. And then as soon as the sun starts to go down, there's just like a family of black flies that live in your mouth. And you're like... <laughs> Well, this is a sub subpar, but Justin Trudeau is so good looking. It's like, you know, you guys get it. All right, more songs. I'm gonna do some uh, stuff from uh, the first record. This is uh, this is a song I wrote about how uh, music can kind of pick you up and uh, put you in a good mood when nothing else maybe seems to be able to to do that same thing. It's called Backbeat. That little girl loves this song. I screamed myself to sleep last night I couldn't clear my busy mind Of the search for things I never get from light yeah. I'm getting better every day But a dollar's getting hard to make For a man that stands for anything at all Whoa, oh, oh. don't lie to make it better, no and don't try to tell me things are fine yeah. I just need a little backbeat yeah. Don't even need to hear a song no. I can walk and whistle, tap my feet to sing along yeah. I don't need a doctor, there ain't nothing but what I got no. I just need a little backbeat yeah. I just need a little beat to get back up oh, oh. I just need a little beat to get back up oh, oh. Love and life are never fair They'll push you, pull you till you tear And then burn the pieces that you rip into yeah. A little spark is all it takes And you'll gladly give yourself away To a cause or to a girl you barely know Whoa. Don't lie to make it better, no, no And don't try to tell me things are fine, yeah. I just need a little backbeat, yeah. Don't even need to hear a song, no I can walk in with so Tap my feet to sing along, yeah And I don't need a doctor There ain't a thing but what I got, no 
I just need a little back beat, yeah. I just need a little beat to get back up. Oh, oh. I just need a little beat, yeah. And after all those choices that led me to dead ends, they're only dead if you get too scared to get back up again, yeah. I just need a little back beat. Hey. Don't even need to hear a song, no. I can walk and whistle, tap my beat or sing along. Hey. I don't need a doctor, there ain't a thing for what I got, no. I just need a little back beat. Yeah. I just need a little beat to get back up. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, Thanks a lot. A song called Backbeat from my first record. Came out in 2012. Hi. Oh, I thought you were coming up for a hug. <laughs> she said you asked for it. Yeah, right, everybody form a queue. Sorry, I'm trying to show off with the new words that I learned for line. That's how easy it is to step out of line where I grew up. Like, you know, all of a sudden you're like, like, oh, you got some pleated pants, huh? You think you're better than me? <laughs> it's like, no, I just put a belt on. Okay, college. You're like, whoa, I dropped out. <laughs> I went for almost the whole time, though, and I tell people that all the time. Like, no, the way I dropped out was more of a statement. Um, but it doesn't matter how you drop out of college. Your parents are pissed. <laughs> My parents didn't even pay for it. They were mad. And I was like, how does this work? I'm saving myself a few hundred bucks here. Coming in just <laughs> shy of the finish line. I was going to get a music degree. It didn't matter anyway. All right, anyway. This is, uh, this is another song I wrote about that girl. Remember Catherine Hawthorne Sutton? Let's remember her full legal name. That girl from LMNOP earlier. She's happily married to a wonderful man. Idiot. And... Uh, but that man is not me, so I'm still bitter. And uh, I have this new song from the new record. It's called Homeroom. And uh, basically just kind of a sister song to that first one uh, from the new record. And uh, yeah, it's just about uh, trying to get Catherine to like me in Homeroom. And s instead, I got the next best thing to falling in love with her. I got to watch her date all my friends. Once upon a Monday, just a couple of kids We were talking about your weekend when we should have been listening The teacher came over and said to knock it off Thank you I reached for your hand and told her it was all my fault, yeah I've never been cool, never been tough Turkey and cheese with my cut off crust But you were my pizza lunchable crush And I was trying, yeah Trying to be smooth, coming off funny Laughing it off when you kiss my buddies Playing the long game, asking your dad for a tip or two it was a hell of a trip trying to make you fall in homeroom, yeah! Saturday morning, just you and me and your boyfriend You were taking the hill too fast and crashed in the neighbor's fence the neighbor's son heard us and he came outside He cussed at you once and that's when I lost my first fight I've never been cool, never been tough Turkey and cheese with my cut off crust But you were my pizza lunchable crush and I was trying it 
trying to be smooth, coming off funny, laughing it off when you kiss my buddies. Playing the long game, asking your dad for a tip or two. It was a hell of a trip trying to make you fall in homeroom. I knew it was over long before you said a thing. But I'll always love you just for showing me how to be cool, how to act up, how I should chase after what I want, and that I can find love with anyone that's worth the trying. Trying to be smooth, coming off funny, laughing it off when you kiss my buddies. Playing the long game, asking your dad for a tip or two. It was a hell of a trip trying to make you fall in homeroom. It was a hell of a trip trying to make you fall in homeroom. It A song called Homeroom from the new record. Thank you. I really haven't ever been cool. Pizza Lunchables. Um, I wonder sometimes, like when you write a song with like the term Pizza Lunchable in it, like are you the only one that has a song about Pizza Lunchables? It's possible. And it's it's tough to stand out these days. So show me another ginger singer-songwriter that has a song about Pizza Lunchables. I did it. Guys, I did it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's how low the bar is for me. <laughs> I'm also the best musician named Steve Everett on this whole gazebo. Which is pretty good. So uh, the neighborhood that I live in in Nashville, um, I shouldn't be allowed to live there. It's, it's like it's become very wealthy, <laughs> but I live there with roommates and we rent this house. We've been there for like 10 years and we finally uh, just found out that we're going to have to be out by next August because uh, the house is getting sold. And uh, but I've lived in Nashville since 2011 and I've seen just how fast it's blown up. And I've seen the property values skyrocket. But everybody started, uh, like six years ago, started putting these signs in their front yard that said, build like you live next door. And I thought that was cool. That everybody was kind of protesting the uh, massive development. And uh, people were selling one house. And they were building, you know, like 10 where there used to be one. And just the row houses and cramming them in there. And... Uh, one day I was drinking my coffee one morning and looked across the street and our, across the street neighbors had that sign in their front yard, build like you live next door. And I was drinking my coffee and I watched a bulldozer tear their house down. And then I watched over the next six months when they built 16 houses where there used to be two houses. Right across the street from where I lived. And two things happened. I, I started writing this song right there on the spot as they were tearing down this house. And uh, I, after they were done, I walked across the street and I got that sign out of the rubble of this bulldozed house that said, build like you live next door. And I grabbed it and I put it on my living room wall. And that's where it stays to this day in a big frame. And, uh, but I judged those people. I judged them. And then I started thinking about uh, if I bought a house for a couple hundred thousand dollars and it was worth a million bucks, I'd sell it too. <laughs> And I'd tell my kids that like, it doesn't matter where we live, it just matters that we're together, you know? It was a family and I started putting myself in their shoes and I realized that love's the only way to build a home. And uh, that's, that's the ultimate place you gotta come down after you go through something like that. So I wrote this song for my new record, it's called The Only Way. A man from the city came there putting up houses Like six or seven where there used to be one Made me an offer that I had to consider But I should have just turned and run Cause we've got a one in the fifth grade and another right behind it They think the universe is just North Carolina All I can think about's the doorway in the kitchen 
It's covered up with notches, names, and inches. Cause there's a million ways that you can build a house. And as many you can use to tear it down. You can't fill it up with treasure that you find along the road. But love's the only way to build a home. Love's the only way to build a home. Yeah. Lady at the bank said I'd be foolish not to sell. Most of my neighbors had appointments there as well. All I can think about is Judas kissing Jesus and giving back the 30 silver pieces. Cause there's a million ways that you can build a house and as many you can use to tear it down. You can't fill it up with treasure that you find along the road. But love's the only way to build a home. Love's the only way to build a home. Yeah. I wrote a letter to my kids, hoping someday they'd forgive what daddy did. When it was finished, I just threw it in the trash. Cause the answer I was looking for was right there in my hand. There's a million ways that you can build a house And as many you can use to tear it down You can't fill it up with treasure that you find along the road But love's the only way to build a home Love's the only way to build a home, yeah! Thanks very much. A song called The Only Way from the new record. Made my mom cry with that one. That's kind of my litmus test for what I know the good songs are. It's like, well, mom's weeping. And that's dad's problem now. I'm going to hang up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just serious. This is like a partially southwestern, partially high visibility hunting blanket. Is that the, the vibe on that? I dig that. It's like, you know, indigenous, but also like functional. It's cool. I have a wetsuit that I wear when I go hunting just because I like to shock the animals, freezes them, and then you can get a clear shot. I'm kidding. I've never hunted. <laughs> I assume you'd have to be quiet to go do it, so that's why I've never gone. Bit of a conversationalist. They can probably, I'm a, I'm a big cigar guy. Can they smell the cigar smoke billowing <laughs> from miles away? Cool. I'd be a, a great person to go hunting with if you didn't want to ever get anything, you know? Although I probably later tonight will eat some venison sausage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reap in the spoils of other people's <laughs> abilities to not talk for six hours. <laughs> All right, enough talking. This is a song I wrote with my friend Brittany Monroe, and a couple years ago I was out in California, and I woke up. Um, I can never live in California because you're too. I'm too far. I already sleep in, and then when you're in California, you're three hours behind the East Coast. So like, I would just never. No one would ever hear from me again. I would be like a vampire basically, and I would just have to like leave notes for people and be like, "Hey, I was here, but didn't catch you." Neither here nor there. Uh, but this is a song I, I found out when I was out in California that uh, it was on Rolling Stone magazine, and it was one of the coolest things that's ever gone down for me. And I wrote it with a friend of mine named Brittany Monroe, and it's just kind of uh, uh, half the song is from a guy's perspective, half the song is from a girl's perspective. And um, it's just kind of uh, how two people can get in their own way and uh, keep themselves from getting a cool thing that they're really focused on getting. You know, we, we all get in our own way a whole bunch. And a lot of times there's something that's like being outstretched to you that you really want and you just don't let yourself take it because you don't think you're worthy yet. So, song called Pick Your Head Up. Jenny. 
Jenny isn't pretty, or so she thinks. So she goes to parties by herself, sits alone and drinks. Dreams of being pretty and all it bring, like getting into sold out shows and having cute boys buy her things. She's feeling low and she's ready to leave, yeah, to leave, yeah. Meanwhile, a boy there is dying to meet her, to meet her, thinking, hey, pick your head up, look around. You might be standing on your crown, stuck inside your own mind, burning your own castle down. Cinderella, don't get in your carriage yet. Cause I think I found your slipper in your prints mm -hmm. Jeffrey isn't smooth, no Or so he thinks As he makes his way across the party Carrying two drinks But Jenny sees him coming And she moves out of his way Seems surprised when they lock eyes and he steps in front of her to say He wants to dance but he needs her to lead him, to lead him Soon as he saw her he was dying to meet her, to meet her thinking Hey, pick your head up, look around You might be standing on your crown, stuck inside your own mind Burning your own castle down Cinderella, don't get in your carriage yet Cause I think I found your slipper in your It goes to show that you never know You never know oh, oh. Cause beauty is only in the beholder The beholder thinking Pick your head up, look around You might be standing on it hey. Pick your head up, look around You might be standing on your crown Stuck inside your own mind Burning your own castle down Cinderella, don't get in your carriage yet Cause I think I found your slipper in your Cinderella, don't get in your carriage yet Cause I think I found your slipper in your future boyfriend who's a ginger named Steve Song called Pick Your Head Up Oh yeah Guys, this is fantastic. I'm having a nice time with you all. If I was good at social media right now is when I would take a picture of all of us in a video and be like, I'm, this is where I am I'm having a great time, but I just don't care at all. I don't care about anybody who's not right here right now. <laughs> don't tell my mom that I said that. Now, that's been a very like uh, key takeaway from COVID for me is like only this moment is life. And like, how little time do we spend thinking that way? You know, it's just all, we spend all of our time dealing with trauma of things that have already happened and worried about future trauma that like might not even happen. <laughs> and when's the last time anything ever went like you thought it was gonna go, good or bad? Like it's either gonna be way worse than you think it is or way better than you think it is. It's never exactly how you thought it was gonna go. So really it's just a waste of energy. And that leaves us, all we have left after that is right now. And you know, what you can see and touch and the people that you can get your hands on and give a hug and cheer up or bless or screw with if they're being jerks. I don't care, do whatever you want. I'm just saying like right now is all you got, so. Give that a spin around your noggin. And if that freaks you out, don't worry about it. Get some Jets pizza and go right back to what you were doing. Get you 6,000 calories worth of Jets pizza and head to the house. Don't forget to get Turbo Crust. Well, you guys know. You know. Oh, that was going to be a laugh break. It was in my heart. I don't even care. This is a song from the new record, it's called Finally Find It. Mm -hmm. 
Staying at home, second night in a row But that party's a go and you already know I'm checking my phone, there's a girl that I know And if she's going, I'm showing, yeah And I'll just stand in the corner till my drink's just ice I've been waiting for someone like you for a long time Oh did I finally find it? Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I find it? We'll see it. Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I find it? We'll see, baby. Now that I'm loose, there's a picture of youth And I'm a poor, a couple tall ones, yeah And head over to you, I got something to prove Cause I don't even have your number, yeah And we can stand in the corner till our drinks just ice Waiting on something makes us wanna dance all night, yeah Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I find it? We'll see, baby. Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I find it? We'll see. Well, I don't care who leads, baby. As long as you're with me, yeah. Can I take your hand? Cause I think it's time we dance. I saw that little girl playing uh, air guitar up there on the wall. That's pretty good. Future rock star. She got the timing right and everything. Oh, oh, when I finally find it. Oh, when I finally find it. Oh, when I find it, I'm free. There she is. Oh, oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I finally find it? Oh, did I find it? We'll see. Yeah. Oh, oh, did I finally find it? Oh, oh, did I finally find it? Oh, oh, did I find it? We'll see, baby. Oh, oh, did I finally find it? Oh, oh, did I finally find it? Oh, oh, did I find it? We'll see, baby. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I like to have a backing band playing a different song. <laughs> This is a song I wrote um, uh, for, for a girl I dated who had, which she was born in Florida, uh, grew up in Alabama, and had lived in Tennessee for a few years when I met her. And then I was born in Georgia, grew up in North Carolina, lived in South Carolina. We just had the whole Southeast like peppered uh, with the two of us, and both of our dads were musicians. And, uh, but uh, we both had blue eyes, and, uh, but uh, my girlfriend at the time, her, her eyes were like this very unusual shade of blue. And I've never met anybody else that had the same color eyes, honestly. And uh, I decided they were Alabama blue eyes. And I wrote this song one afternoon. Uh, I was lucky enough, I got to play this. Some kid heard me playing it in Nashville, and he worked for Alan Jackson, and he came up to me after a writer's round, and he's like, do you want to go play this for Alan Jackson at his house? And I was like, yep. <laughs> Is that a question? And so I did, and it was cool because usually you get told no in the music industry via email or a phone call, but I got to hear it straight from Alan Jackson in his home, so that was cool. This is a song called Alabama Blue Eyes. Maybe it's time I dip my toes back in and test it out the water, see what the temperature, the temperature is. Maybe this time I'll go a little bit slow and try to get to know her. Now rush my way to saying what this is. 
Cause it feels a lot like love The kind Sinatra sang those songs about That nobody's sick, sick of I can Tennessee see myself tonight In those Alabama deep blue eyes And my Carolina love is at an all-time high I can Tennessee see myself tonight In those Alabama blue eyes Eyes Alabama blue eyes What do you say we skip a bit ahead and get out of town together? See what the chemistry, the chemistry is. We can go find ourselves some trouble, baby. Nothing too crazy. Just wild enough to get away with it. Cause it feels a lot like love. The kind of Sinatra sang those songs about that nobody's sick, sick of. I can Tennessee see myself tonight in those Alabama deep blue eyes. And my Carolina love is at an all time high. I can Tennessee see myself tonight in those Alabama blue eyes. I, 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 Alabama blue eyes, eyes, yeah. Florence and Waterloo, they got together and gave me you, and I never felt so hard. Florida might have raised you, but your daddy's music played to the beat of your crimson heart. Oh. Tennessee, see myself tonight in those Alabama deep blue eyes. I can Tennessee, see myself tonight in those Alabama deep blue eyes. And my Carolina love is at an all time high. I can Tennessee, see myself tonight. Those Alabama blue eyes, eyes, eyes. Alabama blue eyes, eyes, eyes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah, Alabama blue eyes from my jazz record. A couple of you well remembered. Good job. So I used to drive this uh, black Ford Ranger and it would get covered up with pollen in the springtime and look pretty yellow. And uh, I was at the stop sign, all these honeybees were buzzing around. And I got to thinking about uh, what I learned about honeybees in high school and science class. And, uh, you know, how the female honeybee can lose her temper one time in her whole life. And if she stings something, something or someone, her stinger falls out and she dies immediately. So think about what we can learn about tolerance and temperance from the female honeybee. The male honeybee, if it's lucky, gets to mate one time in its whole life and then it dies. So think about what we can learn from the male honeybees as well. I just got to thinking about that. I wrote this song on my porch. It's called Honeybee. Well, I like the life of a honeybee. Plays the whole thing out with just one sting. And if she can't learn how to just be kind, she'll have to leave the one she loves behind. You misunderstood at picnics, swatted down at baseball games, keeping flowers blooming while you try and earn your name. Yeah. Well, you're just flying over families, just beyond our reach. 
Running for your life so you can stay You use your wings and keep your anger put away Cause you've learned how to live to sting another day We put your labor in our teeth But in the spring you make us itch and sneeze For the sweetest taste we sing your praise But for the yellow dust we curse your name you misunderstood at picnics, swatted down at baseball games Keeping flowers blooming while you try and earn your name Boo Look at this cool thing I bought for my truck that makes it annoying to other people <laughs> You just fly over families just beyond our reach running for your life so you can stay you use your wings and keep your anger put away cause you've learned how to live to sting another day Ain't it just like people being at each other's throats Focused on what's different when what's uncommon weighs the most yeah. You just fly in old families Just beyond our reach Running for your life so you can stay You use your wings and keep your anger put away Cause you learn how to live To stay another day Another day Thanks a lot. Remember how old I was when I found out that Harley Davidson is like when you buy it, they have the baffles in and they're quiet and then you have to take them out to make them really loud. <laughs> Just as a kid, I was like, huh. <laughs> Most of you guys have Harleys, that's fine. Uh, it's just, you know, just don't like gun it when you're passing like sidewalk cafes. That's really the only rule. <laughs> I grew up around uh, loud machines as well. My first car was a 67 Candy Apple Red Mustang. It was a piece of crap, but I fixed it up, and it was made here in the beautiful state of Michigan, pure Michigan. It's made in Dearborn. I drove through yesterday or earlier today. I don't know. It's been a long day. And uh, I asked a couple people, I was like, hey, do you know where they make the Mustangs? And everybody was like, I don't understand. So I just came on up here, I guess. But uh, go Mustangs, whatever. <laughs> Woo! I got time for a few more here. Thank you guys so much for being uh, such a good audience and uh, for laughing at most of the jokes I made. Nobody goes 100%. You'd have to be humanitarians to do so, really. Um, got some more folks joining us. This is great. Familiar faces, new people. If you're new to me, my name is Steve Everett, and I live in Nashville, and uh, I write songs and, and, and play shows for a living, so this is really integral that uh, you guys were here. <laughs> Do one from the first record. This song called Sofa in the Sea. If I could sell my house to yours, don't you know that I would fasten all windows and doors? I'd be on my way before the rising of the morn And it's low tide could keep my ship from sailing to your shore 
And you'd hear the roaring of the waves outside You'd know exactly what to do And I'd use my sofa as a lifeboat I would sail it out to you Here we go Then it could be you and me On a sofa in the sea On the best ride of our lives we could pretend that we, we got where our trip would end And we just climb right back inside Till our couch capsizes yeah. Till our couch capsizes Hey, little lady If I could be so bold to say You could be the captain I would surely be your mate we could both get married, I would gladly take your name Or we could just hold hands And you'd hear the roaring of the waves outside You'd know exactly what to do And I'd use my sofa as a lifeboat I would sail it out to you Here we go and it could be you and me On a sofa in the sea On the best ride of our lives We could pretend that we, we got where our trip would end we just climb right back inside Till our couch capsized Till our couch capsized care about the fact that they're without the two of us because our love's so strong yeah. and it could be you and me on a sofa in the sea on the best ride of our lives we could pretend that we, we got where our trip would end but we just climb right back inside Till our couch capsized Till our couch capsized Song called Sofa in the Sea Oh, I should probably mention this uh, fine acoustic guitar that I play. My buddy Marty McMillan uh, builds these, and he's uh, he's born and raised in Sterling Heights and uh, went to the Brian Gallup Luthier School over in uh, Big Rapids. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he makes the finest acoustic guitars I've ever played in my life, and I've got a couple of them, and he's, uh, a lot of people in Nashville are starting to play these things, so he's repping Michigan well. Just wanted you to know. Macmillan Guitars. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. 
What did you say it's time? Yeah. You put your lips to mine And you can be brave tomorrow And you can make waves and rock boats But baby, just stay inside these walls tonight yeah. You can be brave tomorrow And you can make waves and rock boats But baby, just stay inside these walls Oh, or well, you can be brave tomorrow So you locked your heart away with boundaries and lies. And you can be brave tomorrow and you can make waves and rock boats, but baby, just stay inside these walls tonight. Yeah. You can be brave tomorrow and you can make waves and rock boats, but baby, just stay. Inside these walls, oh, oh, well, you can be brave tomorrow. You can be brave tomorrow. Oh, you can be brave tomorrow. You guys have been fantastic. Thanks so much. Uh, this is a song called West Coast Time for my first record. I wrote it as a Valentine's Day gift to a girl I was dating, and uh, we broke up soon after, but I kept the song. Turned a frown upside down, you know what I mean? Anyway, thanks guys so much. Uh, I'm on all the social media, all the websites, all the Facebooks, everything, so if you use some one of those, search for me on there. I'd love to keep you up to date on what I'm doing, and what that is is traveling around playing songs for people and writing songs and giving a lot of hugs. Here we go, West Coast time. Thank you, guys. Well, it's an awful lot like crazy The way you shake me with the kiss, yeah And no matter my intention You always make some time for it, yeah And though we live in Carolina we're in a different state of mind, yeah We never worry about the morning We like the afternoon just fine Come on, you and I We live on West Coast time From the left-hand side of my bed, yeah And I'm inclined to lie awake all night with my heart underneath your head You always give me the attention yeah. I never got from other eyes, no You're never quick to point a finger And no one else can change your mind and though we live in Carolina, we're in a different state of mind, yeah. We never worry about the morning, we like the afternoon just fine. Come on, you and I, we live on West Coast time, from the left hand side of my bed, yeah. And I'm inclined to lie awake all night With my heart underneath your head We got a lot to live for We got a lot to say yeah, yeah. We do our thinking in the evening And all our sleeping in the day We live on West Coast time from the left 
inside of my bed, yeah. And I'm inclined to lie awake all night with my heart underneath your head. With my heart underneath your head. Thank you guys so much. I'm Steve Everett. Love you. Love you, 20 Front Street. Love you, Lake Orion. <laughs>